Hello everybody, how's it going? Jack here. Today I'm going to go over the three new navigation modes in Spatial. Now your navigation modes live in the bottom right of your screen next to your chat. When you hover over this icon, you will see that it expands to show you your three navigation modes. By default, you will be in auto rotate mode. When you're in auto rotate mode, W makes your avatar go forward, S makes them go backwards, and then pressing A and D will make it go left and right, and you'll notice that the camera automatically rotates to follow your avatar. Now, if you want to use the arrow keys, you can use the up arrow key to go forward and the down arrow key to come backwards or move towards you. But the left and right arrow key just rotate the camera around your avatar. Now, the next mode is drag to rotate mode. As opposed to auto rotate mode, when you're in drag to rotate, you have to click on the screen and drag with your mouse or on your trackpad to rotate the camera around your avatar. You can still use W, A, S, and D, but you'll notice that the camera doesn't automatically rotate with your avatar. You can also still use the arrow keys. The up and down make you go forward and backwards, and the left and right still turn the camera around your avatar. Now the third and final navigation mode is pointer lock mode. You'll notice when I go into pointer lock mode that the camera movements correspond to the movements of my mouse. This is great for games that require quick and sharp movements. And so you can still use W, A, S, and D to walk around and then you use the mouse to change where you're looking. Now to exit pointer lock mode, you want to press escape on your keyboard to regain control of your mouse. Now you can also jump by pressing space, and you can also double jump by pressing space twice. It's really fun to run and do flips. I hope you guys have enjoyed this showcase of the new spatial navigation modes. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.